All right, for those of you saying that, oh, he's wearing the same jacket again, blah, blah, blah. I got two words for you. Shut up. It's cold right now in Hawaii and, and windy. So, you know, get off my back. Enjoy the video. What's up, guys? It's Gaming Jelly. Welcome to vlog number nine. We're about to grow up. We're about to be 10 pretty soon. Of course, I have to do my shout outs. My friend is the owner of a company called Unparalleled42. It's a lifestyle brand, so go ahead and go check that out. Everything from this point on, I don't want to keep on saying it, will be in the description of the video below. <laughs> I'm also part of this rap group called For the Free. What you're listening to right now is a from a mixtape from a friend of mine. His name is Malachi. Very talented dude. So check out his music and also check out the rest of our, you know, our other music. My friend Austin Rage quit. Actually, haven't heard back from him for a while where you been buddy <laughs> now he's been busy doing some other things so if you get the chance go ahead and check out his channel he puts up some pretty good content and also i'm a part of this group called vgh hawaii they're a pretty amazing group of people they post up things related to you know video games they post up things related to movies it's 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 a pretty cool group to be a part of and I post up my content on there and they support me so thanks guys i really appreciate it and let's go on to the bulk of this whole vlog <laughs> so so far i'm doing pretty good for my for my content for you know posting up videos for now We'll see how, how long it takes for me to miss a day and then completely fall out. But yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the new content so far. I'm going to do a little bit something new for... I'm not sure if I'm going to keep on posting these on Wednesdays or maybe on, on Monday or something. But I'm going to do this thing where I talk about... Well, I say what games are going to come out for this week. So, first off, on the 19th of February, we have Fire Emblem Fates, which is coming out for Nintendo 3DS. We also have Plans for Zombies 2 Garden Warfare. Wait, Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare 2 coming out on February 23rd. That's for you know pc ps4 and xbox one i also have far cry primal which looks incredibly good also coming out on february 23rd so go ahead check out those games if you're interested now let's move on to a segment i like to call what's trending where i talk about what's trending first off sega has released a free pack on steam it's called make war not love and it comes with well honestly i'm not exactly too sure what, what's what's going on with sega they're just releasing out i guess some free new content and things so you get three sega classic games which is golden axe you get called hell yeah i'm not even sure if that's a uh, really classic and you also get uh jet set radio which i do remember that game it was it was way back when if you want to learn more i'll post up the link in the description below also a little something about uh norman reedus who plays daryl on the walking dead just recently he met with kojima and el toro and he says that he has faith in both of them a few months ago all three of them worked on a project called pt which by the way i don't have gameplay of and I was going to, I was, I was going to make a let's play of it, but it's, it's pretty intense. It's, I don't know if I can handle it, but if you want me to record it, I still have the game downloaded. You can't download it anymore, by the way. So if you guys want to see gameplay footage of me being scared, oh, by all means, let's, let's do it. Just let me know, I guess, in the comments. <laughs> According to IGN, Redis met up with uh, Kojima this past Tuesday, and he has made it clear that he'd love to work with the pair in the future, in a future project. Now that Silent Hills isn't, you know, happening anymore. PT was uh, also... A surprise title it was supposed to be silent hill rita says that there were so many ideas and cool future happenings that were thrown around and he also says that he just can't see them not picking up somewhere if you want to read the article from ign uh, of course i'm going to leave it in the description below back in december sony announced a partnership with kojima through his new independent studio kojima productions and i think they're going to work on a a console exclusive title so pretty i'm pretty stoked for that i'm pretty excited for what they have to offer and if anything happens with norman rita and Kojima and Del Toro. I think it'll be a fantastic game. That's my opinion. So speaking of The Walking Dead, I would like to do this thing for as long as the show is currently on air. I want to talk about it. Just recently, this past Sunday, Valentine's Day, The Walking Dead came back with its mid-season six premiere. And oh, oh my gosh, it was fantastic. The that, that episode was, I think, just what they needed to bring up the ratings. And it was brilliantly done. And I just have so much things to talk about, but I'm gonna try to condense it. <laughs> First thing that that we see when the episode starts up again is from where we left off a few months ago with Daryl, Abraham, and Sasha all getting confronted by some Negan's gang. Just as I should probably say, <laughs> spoilers for you know the rest of this video. If you haven't watched it, don't continue watching. You might you you will definitely get spoiled. So just as Negan's crew was about to kill Sasha and Abraham, they get blown up by an RPG by Daryl. And a very, very, I don't know, keen fan found and saw something in the background just as they explained. Exploded. What they saw was a car pull up just as the explosion happened and everybody else is saying that's Negan If you don't know who Negan is Negan is very he's infamous probably one of the best villains that that the Walking Dead has 
ever had and I, I'm super stoked to see him in, in action. I won't get too much into the details about who he is and what he's done but yeah people have been saying that whoever was in that car was Negan. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below along with the video. The link is is of course the article that uh, that talks about it. I thought that was pretty cool. I actually it, it's it happens so quickly you don't even notice it like you're not looking in that corner I, I mean I don't know who would be but the fact of the matter is uh, it's it's there I, I've, I, I don't know if it's fake or not maybe it is maybe it isn't why don't you see for yourselves let me know what you think also at the end of the episode of course we know by now that Alexandria has been run down by the hordes of walkers towards the end of the episode however rick goes out on a, on a rampage I'll, t I'll tell you why later but he goes out on a rampage and that inspires everybody else to just say fuck it and they just go for it and they start wiping out every single walker what i thought was cool was the fact that people like gabriel the priest people like eugene you know they started stepping up and it, it was just it was intense that that whole that whole thing was intense it was so intense it was it was cool it was very it was very cool i thought it was a perfect way to start the season season uh the mid season six and also i really have to commend the fact that the show is really closely related to the comics i mean obviously the show is based off the comics but sometimes with these TV adaptations they don't necessarily take everything well they don't follow what's going on in the comics the reason why I mentioned that is because something happened to Carl that well <laughs> Basically, Rick and his group, they were covered in walker guts and they were going to go to the armory to try to, you know, kill all the walkers. Sam was being an idiot and cracked under the pressure and he got eaten. As that was happening, his mother, Jessie, was so indistraught that she wouldn't let go of Sam. She got eaten and she also wouldn't let go of Carl. And Carl was getting, you know, scared. He was calling out for his dad. Rick had to cut off her arm in order to free Carl. As that happened, Ron, there's so many characters. Ron, the asshole that, you know, that we met, he pretty pissed off at Rick for killing his dad. And so he pointed the gun when when Rick cut off Jesse's arm, Ron pointed the gun at Rick. But just as that happens, Michonne stabbed Ron through the chest, which was pretty freaking brutal. And you saw the random shot. After everything, you know, sort of calmed down when all the walkers were eating the that family, we hear Carl say dad, and we see a huge hole in his eye. That is exactly what happened in the comics i'm so happy that they're they're staying true to the comics and putting in these bits and details i feel like it's like a nod to the comic book fans but at the same time it, it's just amazing when, when that happened i stood up i stood up and i was freaking out i was like oh my gosh he got shot da, da, da. it was crazy it was freaking crazy but yeah this episode was fantastic i can't wait for next week's episode and i can't wait to talk to you guys about it who am i predicting will die this season well i'll let you know after next week's episode i guess i have a few it's too early to say basically i mean i have a few guesses but again I, I can't say anything right now not because i know it's just in the comics some things happen to some characters and i know i'm saying that i'm really happy that they're staying true to the comics but there is one thing that i don't want to happen but i think will uh, we'll see we'll cross that bridge when it comes when we come to it so anyways guys i think that it about wraps it up for this for this vlog for this vlog number nine again all the links will be in the description below so that you can read all the articles and all that good stuff i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and share the video and also please subscribe to become part of the fellow jealous today i will see you guys in the next video of whatever i make bye